I'm going to get the commercial in first. I'm Dr. Bruce Stevenson, and with Linda Piccinini, we are Today's Dental Consulting. We have no affiliation with Open Dental, but we only work with offices using or switching to Open Dental. Open Dental is our niche. Many offices are having trouble finding good employees and often overlook the fact that Open Dental is the ideal employee they already have. They just need to learn some of its less obvious features to get more done with fewer people. Open Dental can change your practice for the better, making it more profitable, providing better patient care, and making everyone's jobs easier. We can show you how. This is what we do. You can call us at 209-603-9944, or you can visit our website, todaysdentalconsulting.com, and click on the yellow link at the top of the page to schedule your free consultation. End of commercial. As people like to say, I have some good news and some bad news for you. I'm going to give you the bad news first. It looks as if dental insurance carriers are starting to ask for ICD-10 codes on your claim forms. The good news is, in this short video, we're going to show you how to set up and use ICD-10 codes in Open Dental. Here's a copy of a letter one of our clients recently received from Cigna asking for these codes. Now, these were not exotic procedure codes that she was billing for. These are standard composites, and they still denied the claim because we didn't have the ICD-10 codes on there. So what are we talking about and where are these codes going on our claims? If you can see right there with the line item with the procedure on it, that little A links down at the bottom to the ICD-10 code that we've put on there for that procedure. The purpose of this video is to show you how you can set up Open Dental to use these and also how you can actually use them in Open Dental. Now the setup is a little bit tedious, and so I've made some cheat sheets that I'm going to show you as we go along. And you can download these when you go to our website, todaysdentalconsulting.com forward slash ICD10. No dash in there, just ICD10. There's also a link to that website that I'll put in the description of this video. Here's an example of one of the downloadable cheat sheets that shows you how to get the correct claim form. So you're gonna to go to setup, then family and insurance, then claim forms, and step by step, just follow the little arrows there to import that claim form and then link that to all your existing forms. So let's go through a little quick video here. We're gonna to go to setup and then family insurance and then claim forms. And you wanna pick the claim form over there on the left and copy it to the center. I've already done that. And then you're going to set it as your default form. Now, the other thing you want to do is link this new form to your existing old forms in there. So it's going to replace them. And that's what I'm doing right here. Pick the new form and go reassign there. And you're all set. The next thing we're going to do is to trick Open Dental into thinking we're going to do medical forms. We have to do this in order to use these codes, as near as I can tell. So there's the one, two, three, four steps. Let's look at the live video of that. We're gonna go up to setup. Then we're gonna to go to advanced features and go down there to show features. And we're gonna make sure we click on that medical insurance over there. Let's show you this one is a little bit more complicated when we're trying to import the ICD-10 codes to use in Open Dental. Several steps here. Let's walk through it real quickly. Again, we're going to set up, then we're going to chart and the EHR, electronic health record. An un kind of unfamiliar screen. And now we're gonna to go to the code system import. I'm gonna click on that, gonna refresh it, and then we're gonna go down and find our ICD-10 codes right there. And we're gonna go ahead and import those guys. I'd already done it, so it's going kind of fast. And now we're all set. We've got those codes in there to use. Okay, the last part of the setup that we need to do is to set up a medical clearinghouse for electronic claims. 
even though we're not going to send medical electronic claims. You still got to fool Open Dental into doing this. Okay, let's look at the video. We're going to go to Setup and Family Insurance again, and then down to Clearinghouse. And if you pick Endron, Endron is a medical clearinghouse, even though we're not going to send claims to them. And click Medical down at the bottom, and now you're linked to that. So don't worry, this is not going to cost you any money. Okay, we finally got all the setup done, but I've still got one more cheat sheet for you, and this is how you actually use these ICD codes. What you're going to do is double click on the procedure and then go that number two there, the medical tab. You've probably never been there before. And once this is properly set up, you'll see over there the number three where you can put in the ICD codes. Now, how you select those, I'm going to show you just a second in the video. So we're going to go in and pick a procedure. Now, the procedure can be either treatment planned or completed. In this case, it's completed. So I'm going to double click on the procedure. Then I'm going to go to that medical tab right there. And here's my, where my ICD-10 codes go. All right, well, what are they? I don't know any codes. Well, this is pretty neat. If you click on this, you can search for the code. Now let's do carries. We'll type in carries. And we'll search. Now we got all sorts of carries in here. And probably the one we want is the smooth surface penetrating not into the pulp, but into the dentin. Okay, that's a K02.62. And we can just say OK there. And now it put that code in there. I can put additional codes in if I want to. You can have up to four codes. So that's just for the fun of it. Let's put another code. Let's search for periodontal this time. I got a whole bunch of periodontal stuff in here. But if you look, this one is pretty nonspecific. It's gingivitis and periodontal disease. Most people probably have that. So I'm probably safe in putting that in there. I don't need more than one code, but I can put up to four. So that's the easiest way to find it is to go in there and search. It's kind of nice if you know what the search terms were, such as carries. Let me show you another source for these codes. So here's a source from the ADA website, and that link on there does work. If you open the PDFs, as we talked about from the website, you can click on that link and it'll take you to this site. And so you can see they got a whole bunch of different ones in there that you can use, just to familiarize yourself with what's possible. Here's another one that I made up in Excel by stealing from several different sources there. And this gives you some suggested uses over there on the far right-hand side. So there's a total of about 9,000 ICD-10 codes. Uh, this is a list of most of the dental ones. It doesn't all show on this screen. But just to go through and kind of see what's available, I think is a useful exercise. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it and subscribe. And also think about sharing it with your friends. We'd really appreciate it.